Airborne LiDAR technologies are very well known for about the ability to collect very large quantities of high precision measurements in a short time, so that to allow very detailed analysis of a single site or data capture of entire landscapes. In this video will be introduced an upcoming technology that captures the soil movement on detail, since there are several scanning periods to a particular area. When the first scan has been processed, then user selects a single point of interest that wish to monitor. This point of interest will be the center of the circle that will be the area of our future analysis. The radius of circle is dependent of the area wish to be calculated the soil movement. In addition the circle will be considered as an alignment and will be calculated cross sections with range as was selected by the user. The length of cross sections inside the circle will be same as the radius. Circle's offsets are placed within the starting circle. The resolution of the offsets is dependent by the user. In this example you can see the cross-section lines in 3D, as well as the alignment of the observation. Each square of the grid will be the representative area of soil movement. It then will be calculate the projection of the grid. The area and length of projection depends on the horizontal and vertical distance of the landscape.
The first scanning is characterized as a reference scanning, and projection is flat. Since the second scanning is done, then it can be detected the detailed direction and value of any soil movements or collapse. Where there is a cut in beside is a fill, that means that the particular rock mass has been moved from the position of cut, to the fill. In addition is calculated the value of projected depth of movement. In case that there are multiply scanning periods, then it can be detected any soil movements and a detailed analysis of the monitoring that corresponds either to movements, or collapses. In the case of collapses, it can be detected the footprint of the direction of the collapse, as well as the final position of the falling ground. The fill ground represents the position of the collapsed rock mass. The map of movements in projection can be printed on the plane view. In addition the positions of soil movements can be projected on the 3D realistic landscape model. This methodology can be also be used for monitoring of potential cracks on the hard rock soil and precipitation. Here is an example of a cross-section in projection during the first scan. As you can see the projected view of cross-section is flat, and its length is equal to the sum length of the primary section line. On the second scanning period, the potential soil movements will be projected and visualized on the projection map. The depth of soil movement is measured perpendicular to the direction of each slope.